Did you know that from 2011 to 2021, credit union membership grew over 300% from 41 million members to almost 130 million members across the United States? So why have so many people move their money to credit unions? What's the difference between a credit union and a bank, and why should you think about moving your money too? Hey there, I'm Chris Peach from moneypeach.com and one is a credit union, and here are six reasons why you may wanna move your money from a bank to a credit union as well. Now, number one, credit unions are member focused. Credit unions are geared towards making decisions that are best for their members. You see, when you join a credit union as a member, you actually become an owner in the institution. As a member shareholder, you get to vote for positions on the board of directors. Those board members are then accountable to you and they make decisions based on your interests, not the interest of the stockholders or corporate profit goals. In fact, another great thing about credit unions is that they are not for profit. Now, unlike traditional banks that exist to make money from customers, Credit unions return any earnings back to their members through lower loan rates, better products and service, and enhanced technology. That's all to say that because credit unions aren't up to turn a profit, they can focus on what's best for their members. So who can become a credit union member? Almost anyone. Gone are the days when you had to meet strict requirements for credit union membership. In fact, at 1AZ Credit Union, anyone living or working in the state of Arizona can become a member. All it takes is $5 to open a share savings account and you could unlock the benefits of banking with a credit union focused on doing what's right. Number two, better interest rates and fees. These are some of the most tangible benefits from banking with a not-for-profit credit union. One of the ways banks earn profits is through interest rates and fees. Now, since credit unions don't need to worry about creating profits for their investors, because they don't have investors, they can afford to give you the lowest interest rates on the market for credit cards, home loans, auto loans, personal loans, you name it. The same goes for fees like closing costs, checking account fees, and other service fees. Because credit unions don't need to earn profits from charging you willy-nilly, they pass those savings on to you. Speaking of better rates, with a credit union, you'll also find better interest rates on savings accounts, money market accounts, and certificates of deposit. That means you may earn more on your deposits by banking with a credit union. Number three, keep your money inside your community. Did you know when you bank with a large national bank, money leaves the state and the community you live in? Now, local credit unions like 1AZ Credit Union, they do just the opposite. By taking the money you deposit and plugging it back into the community where you live, they do this by loaning it to your neighbors to buy homes or cars and investing in local businesses that provide jobs to members of your own community. All that keeps cash inside your community and improves the economy for everyone. Also, your local credit union is active in giving back. Because credit unions are member focused, they work to improve the lives of the communities where their members live and work. For example, the 1AZ Community Foundation has provided nearly $750,000 in funding to Arizona nonprofit organizations since 2016. Number four, competitive technology and convenience. In the past, it may have been true that banks had a leg up on credit unions when it came to banking technology, but that is far from the case today. In fact, credit unions like 1AZ have surpassed the technological capabilities of the larger national banks when it comes to digital banking. For example, Next Level Banking offered by 1AZ Credit Union has everything you would expect today when it comes to digital banking. You can deposit a check on your mobile device, send money to friends or family, and you can even set up credit and debit card controls to protect your account. But unlike most of the large national banks, Next Level Banking takes it a step further and helps you create your financial goals. From your online dashboard, you can create savings goals, you can do a financial health checkup, and look over your personalized spending analysis. Another former advantage of large national banks used to be their convenience. They may still have more physical branch locations when compared with local credit unions, but ask yourself this, besides getting cash, how often are you actually driving to the bank? I mean, almost everything we do at the bank can now be done from our phones or online, right? Today, the main reason to visit a branch is to go to the ATM, and this is one area where credit unions are similar to banks. There are fee-free ATMs everywhere. In fact, when you become a member of 1AZ Credit Union, you'll have access to over 41,000 fee-free ATMs across the entire United States. Number five, better customer service. If you ever wanna feel like you're just another number, then open an account at one of the large national banks. But if you want a personal relationship and a partnership with the institution where you're storing your money, then become a member of a credit union. You'll see and feel the difference when it comes to customer service. Whether you're visiting a branch, asking about a loan, or opening up a business account, the difference in customer service between a credit union and a large corporate bank is night and day. With the large national banks, you'll feel like just another number. 
but at a credit union, associates know you by name, they care about your financial well-being, and they are there to help you make the best financial decisions based on your needs. This member-focused service means associates care about your financial well-being. In fact, did you know that under the Federal Credit Union Act, credit unions were organized for the purpose of promoting both frugality and careful money management among the communities they serve? This is why credit unions continue to offer financial literacy for their members. For example, 1AZ Credit Union has an entire pillar dedicated to financial literacy by offering resources to help members improve their financial lives. You definitely don't get that from a bank. And lastly, number six, security. Did you know that in 2020, cybercrime victims lost $4.2 billion. While cybercrime unfortunately seems to be on the rise, the good news is your money is safe at a credit union. The reason is the federal government actually requires financial institutions like banks and credit unions to pay back any money stolen from your account from a hacker or online thief. Also, whether you have a checking account at a bank or a credit union, each depositor is insured up to $250,000 through either the FDIC at the bank or the NCUA at the credit union. Remember this, your money is just as safe at a credit union as it is at a bank. Alrighty, my friends, it's now time for you to move your money from a large national bank to a local community-centered and member-focused credit union. The days of being just another customer to provide profits to investors at the bank are officially over. Head on over to 1azcreditunion.com or visit any of our 20 branches across the state of Arizona to become a member where you get amazing customer service, better interest rates, and you'll be able to keep your money inside the community where you live and work. And lastly, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop me a comment, and share this video so we can help as many people as possible make better decisions with their money.